Okay, um, here we have a, uh, I think it's by First Nature, a uh, hummingbird feeder. What I noticed is uh, these holes here are big enough for honeybees and yellow jackets to get inside quite easily. So uh, I came up with a small idea of how to make it so they can no longer get inside, but the hummingbirds would still be able to feed. What I'm doing is, uh, here's an onion, bag of, empty bag of onions, and a nice red mesh, cutting it into pieces, it into pieces. And here you see I uh, took the feeder apart, and this is the inside of the, where the holes are for feeding. You'll see there's uh, ten holes all together. Okay, what you see here is I cut ten little pieces to uh, cover the ten little holes on the inside of the feeder. Uh, I'm going to use some uh, glue. My favorite glue is uh, E6000. It dries uh, non-toxic. It's good for gluing a coffee mug together, so this should be safe for your little hummingbirds and it will yeah, make sure it's really dry before I fill it anyway so uh, now I'm going to uh, apply a circle of glue around each little hole on you know, the inside of the hummingbird feeder inside of the hummingbird feeder yeah I'm using the paper clip here with a bent tip on it makes it a little easier to apply the glue Stuff's really sticky and messy, so you gotta be a little careful here. What I'm also doing is, uh, when I put these on here, I'm making sure that they're positioned so that the mesh of the plastic uh, forms like a little X, a little cross over the hole. You know, I'm sure if I put a hole in the mesh directly over the hole of the hummingbird feeder, the bee could probably still get through, so it would be pretty pointless of doing this then. And I'll just finish these up, and I'll just finish these up. Okay, all my little pieces of mesh are glued on here, good. Uh, we'll just let this dry. I like to wait a good hour to let this dry well before I uh, put it back out for the birds, for the hummingbirds, for the hummingbirds. Okay, I just replaced the feeder with this one that now has the mesh on it. As you can see, the bees are still swarming around it because uh, they still think they can get in there. But it's really funny to watch them uh, watch them try. And then after a little while, uh, there won't be any more bees here because they give up because they realize they can't get in there. Look at them all. You can see them trying again, but they can't get in. But this one was just replaced, so they're wondering what the heck's going on. How come we can't get in here now? Yeah, you see, I'm not really afraid of bees. I'm right here with them. They don't bother me. There's the feeder now, uh, a couple hours later. Sometimes I'll get a bee here, but uh, looks pretty good. Not too bad.